Hey, my name is Thomas, the co-founder of the Thrive Real Estate Team here at Compass. And I'm Javier, founder and co-founder with Thomas of the Thrive Real Estate Team at Compass. You're the founder of the co-founder? No, no, I'm founder and co-founder. I'm pretty sure my parents found me. Where did they find you? Uh, <laughs> that's a story for a different time. So today we're going to be talking about the spring market, which is coming up very quickly, quicker very quickly. than we think. And we're going to be discussing it if you were to put your property on the market as a seller today or for the spring market, what are we going to be doing for that? How do we get ready to win the spring market if well, we're selling a property? Oh, if you were looking to win the spring market as a seller, don't worry, buyers, we'll get you next. Then you would be, uh, you would already be on market. I mean, that's the reality of the situation is if you want to win the spring market, you need to get listed tomorrow. Yeah, usually we delay spring listings to come up in the spring per se. The market right now is so tight in Manhattan and in Brooklyn that we are actually recommending our sellers or potential sellers to bring the unit on the market a little quicker. Yeah, yeah. Than yeah. Right season. So, and a couple of the reasons for that is, um, one thing that people don't really think about when they're selling their apartment is it's actually a competition you're competing against everything else that's on market. So if you were a seller and you had a nice apartment, but you know, let's be honest, New York City is full of nice apartments. Uh, you are competing against all the other nice apartments. Right. So you have two things that really will set you, three things that will really set you apart. Pricing, timing, um, and hiring Javier and myself. Also, that's true, but that third thing really refers to make sure that your apartment looks fantastic. Your condo, your co-op, or your townhouse, if that's what you're selling, it really needs to look fantastic. So if you're not on the market yet, I think that would be the second step after talking to us about the value of your property. Staging your unit and yeah. wrapping it to sell. You wanna wrap it up. Think about how you go shopping, you see the most beautiful packaging, that's what attracts you the most at first, and then value, we need to do the same thing with your unit. We need to wrap it up to look perfect for the buyers to walk in and say, wow, this is the place we want. You know, and that's one of the services that we provide is we do bring in a stager um, at our cost that's gonna come in and really show you how to wrap your apartment up properly. You know, one of the things that sellers make a mistake is they get very attached to every item that's in their apartment and how it looks and where little Johnny first had his uh, four foot mark on the, the wall. Is that, do they do that here in the city or is that just like a country thing? I don't um, know. Anyway, and, uh, she will come in and she will tell you really how to declutter the space, how to make it presentable because you want it to look nice, but you also want it to look like somebody else could live there. Absolutely. Uh, you don't want to remove your personal effects. You don't necessarily want walls full of personal pictures. You don't want clutter. You really want nice, clean, crisp surfaces. Maybe a nice orchid. Uh, it's just, we just listening, or we're about to listen to an apartment that has one orchid in the apartment. Uh, but it's perfectly placed, so we love it. Yeah, it's... Um, so that in terms of staging, it's very important, and we have somebody who can advise you in it uh, throughout the process, um, again, at our cost. Yeah. Uh, then the other thing that I think is very important for sellers to understand is the economics of what's happening right now. So today, literally this morning, well, actually last night, uh, we had the invention, the invention in Europe. No, don't want to get into it, but that's going to have economical repercussions all over the world. Um, so you have to be, even though it is a seller's market, for the most part, in most of Manhattan, we still have micro markets. And in most of Brooklyn, we still have micro markets. Uh, there's still a price sensitivity from the point of the buyer. They're willing to pay a lot, but to a point, nobody's accepting greedy sellers. So when you price a property, you have to price it to market. You should not be pricing it uh, thinking like, well, they might meet my price. They might, they actually might go higher, but the only way to get many buyers through that door is to price to market. And this is the conversation that we're having with a lot of our sellers right now. Yes, it might be that you get the 3 million you want for your property, but if you price it at 2.8, you're gonna get enough buyers to maybe get 3.1. It's very important right well, now. The last closing we just had, we priced it 2.5 and we sold it at 2.7. So 
it's not impossible. It happens all the time. People will bid the price up for apartments that are worth more than what we list them for. You know, it's an important thing to remember that as a seller, the buyer is the one that sets the price of your apartment. We can suggest that this is the price, but at the end of the day, it's what someone's willing to pay. So let's wrap it up. How do you win the spring market? You put a bow in your apartment, and it's to look beautiful. You have to price it right. It has to look valuable. It has to show value for the buyer. And you have to hire us. Because we're better than your competition. Because if you're already not listed, you're slightly late, but we can get you there on time. And that's how you win the market. And you subscribe, and you share this, and you do everything you need to do that every YouTuber and Instagrammer tells you. We tell you too. Yeah. See you soon. Bye-bye.